What's happening, Nick Brady? It's Keter Dad here, and tonight we made lasagna with spaghetti squash noodles. This recipe is fun, it's delicious, it's something that you can make with your kids, you're gonna love it. Okay, the first step is just to brown your ground beef and your sausage. So we've got that mixed in together. We added a little bit of onion, a small onion in here as well. And now what I'm gonna do, you could do this even during the cooking of it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning just to give it some good flavor. All right, now what I'm gonna do is add in our marinara sauce. There we go. Um, we have Rayo's marinara sauce. I love this marinara sauce. And we're just gonna use the entire jar here and then stir that in. So I'm gonna stir this and just kinda let it get uh, simmered down a little bit on very low heat while I get the other ingredients ready to go. All right, now we're gonna mix together what will be our white sauce. And there's an option for this. I have ricotta here. However, if you want this to be even more low carb, you're gonna wanna use cottage cheese. And then next to it, I'm gonna put two eggs. Number one, number two, and then we're gonna add in Parmesan cheese. So let me dump this in here. Now we're gonna mix all of this together and this is gonna be like our creamy white sauce that you normally see in lasagna. It's gonna be delicious, I'm telling you. Now for the fun, putting it all together. Now we're actually making two eight by eights so that we can freeze one of them but this will definitely make a 13 by nine. And first step is just getting all of the uh, spaghetti squash down for your first layer. Then we're gonna layer the other ingredients on. All right, next step is our ricotta. We're just gonna go ahead and layer some of this on here. Next layer is our Meat sauce, I'm just gonna layer this on here. It's gonna be so good. All right, now for one of the key ingredients, mozzarella cheese layer in between everything. And from here, we're gonna repeat it again. All right, our second layer is started. We've got our second layer of spaghetti squash down. Now we're just adding in our ricotta and we're pressing it down. Okay, finally we're gonna add our last layer of meat sauce and then the cheese. All right, last step. Okay, well I lied, one more step. We're gonna add just a little bit of Italian seasoning to the top of it just to give it that added Italian flavor. So good. All right, we have the oven heated to 30 to uh, 350 degrees, 30 to 40 minutes. We're gonna put both of these in here and we're gonna check up here in about a half hour. Pulled it out of the oven. It cooked for about 35 minutes. Now we're letting it sit for just a few minutes so it could cool down. Now the moment of truth, just dishing it up. Oh, look at that. Looks delicious. And Can't for the moment of truth, how does it taste? Mmm. Ooh. That is yummy. I like it. I'm telling you, simple recipe. It's low carb, keto friendly. You're going to love this one.